Welcome to Mirrorfly, a unified communications product for real-time chat, audio and video calls SDK. Integrating calls SDK is easy and fast. In this video, we shall deep dive to see how to make a call and receive a call using Mirrorfly calls SDK in 20 minutes for the Angular platform. This video will help you with the easy call SDK integration steps. You may also use our sample application available in GitHub. If you need to explore more about the real-time chat and call features before you integrate it, then download our sample app. This would be the fastest way to build your application UI with Mirrorfly Call SDK. You should also be aware of some of the supported browsers before you start working on the call integrations. Before moving into the integration part, you need to know about the SDK license key to initiate calls. You have to register the Mirrorfly user account. Once registered, it will happen verification and would take up to 24 hours. You can get a valid license key from the Mirrorfly user console or dashboard. You would need to be a registered user to access the console. Since I am already a registered user, I am logging into my user account to access the Mirrorfly user console. In the overview page you could access your unique SDK license key and API base URL to add them into your project to initiate the call. You can also get access to the sample project source code, SDK files and API credentials in the same overview page to test your integrations before moving into the integrations. First, create a new Angular project. I'm already created the Angular project. Now integrate the call SDK in my application. I'm integrate using npm package. Copy the Mirrorfly SDK using npm package. Install the SDK in my application terminal. The installation process might take some time to complete. Now our Mirrorfly SDK is installed successfully. Next step, import the SDK into your application where you want. I creating the .tsx file in src folder. I imported the SDK into my .tsx file. SDK files can also be integrated by downloading the SDK files as an alternative method for npm package. So you may skip this part if you are already installed the SDK using npm. However, I still walk you through the steps for your understanding to integrate calls using SDK files. In the first step, to download the zip file from the Angular SDK. In step 2, extract the files from the downloaded zip file. Copy index.js file into your application. In step 3, create a new folder inside your project's root folder and paste all the copied files into it. In step 4, once the file has been copied, include the script file into your index.html and give the correct folder path. In the step 5, create a new file sdk.js in the project root and paste the below code showing in documents. In step 5, open your angular.json and search for the property by navigating the buttons in build, options, scripts. In step 6, you can find the array of scripts wherein you can add the relative file paths of respective downloaded sdk.js files. In step 7, add the below codes in the root component before you use component decorator. In step 8, once you have added the SDK into root components ng on init, initialize our SDK within Angular's initialization method. You are using SDK files follow the 8 steps to integrate. Let's see how to initialize call SDK. To begin with the initialization process of the call SDK, you are required to have certain data that responds to the changes in the connection status in the client's app. Copy the initialize function. Paste the .tsx file. In callback you need to call the connection listener callback listeners are functions that will be called whenever the specified event happens. Console connection status in connection listener function triggered whenever connection status changes. When you are in the trial mode, by default the sandbox servers will be used. After purchase, it will be upgraded to dedicated server. I already created the onclick handler enables you to call a function so I paste initialize SDK method here and trigger an action when a user clicks a button. Console the SDK initialize response. While using the await inside the function, the function should contain a sync in it. Copy the license key details can get it from the overview section in the Mirrorfly console dashboard. Paste it in initialize function. Now run the app in browser. Click the initialize SDK button. 
Once initialize SDK is successful, the log response shows the response message as success and with the status code 200. Let's see how to register the user. You can use the below given method to register a new user. I already created the onclick handler enables you to call the functions, so I paste the register method here and trigger an action when a user clicks a button. Console the log for register response. Give the user identifier as a unique ID to register the user. We accept only the alphanumeric string, so don't use any special characters in the user identifier. Is force register as an optional param for maintaining sessions and metadata as an optional param to provide metadata of the user. Once successfully registered a user you can connect with the Mirrorfly server using following connect method. Paste it in the register onclick function. Once you are registered, you will be provided with a username and password in register response that you can utilize to make the connection with the server via connect method. Console the log for connect response. Now run the app in browser. Now initialize SDK and click the register button to log in. Make sure that you have called the registration method only once in an application. Getting the response for register you can get username and password. Use this credential to connect with the Mirrorfly server, showing the response login successful. Once login success connection listener will triggers SDK, the connection to the server will be successful or else it will get in failure response. Let's see how to make a call. Initiate a call by providing the Kali's user JID into the make voice call method. I already created the onclick handler event property to call the function. So I paste the make voice call method and triggers to execute the function when user clicks button. User JID param represents which user wants to make call. Let's see how to generate JID for any user. You can pass the user ID as another user registered username. Now you can pass the to JID value and make voice call. Console the log for voice call it shows the response once call initiated successfully otherwise it throws error. I created already simple call UI. You can set the UI for your wish to implement the design for outgoing and incoming calls. Once the call is initiated successfully, a call status listener callback will be triggered and Kali user, call status will be received. Call status, triggered whenever user call status changes. It shows possible user status, like ringing, connecting, connected, reconnecting, engaged, busy, disconnected, ended, or on hold. At the same time, shows session status, whether the call is closed or not. If the value is closed means, no user is in the call and call is disconnected completely. Otherwise, call is in progress. If one-to-one -one call feature is unavailable for your plan, then it will throw 403 exception. Whenever you make the call to a user, you will receive your own track using user track listener to play the track. If you need an audio call alone, you can implement the audio tag and return method. When you need video call as well, you can implement the video tag accordingly. For the audio or video call, you should not play your own audio track. Copy the track script code and paste in user track listener console the log for user track listener. To differentiate the user, you can use the local user and user JID parameter. You will receive both audio and video track in the same callback method. The audio and video element is based on the track type that you have received in the user track listener callback. You need to supply the track object, which was received in the callback method. You need to have multiple audio and video tag elements to play all users' audio and video. It receives the local and remote users for audio and video tracks. We have local user property to differentiate the remote and local users. Set local user set as true and remote user set as false. Let's see how to receive the incoming call. To receive an incoming call, a incoming call listener callback triggered, whenever user make a call, the Kali user will receive the calling data in this callback. Console the log for incoming call listener.
It shows the response whether an incoming call was initiated successfully or not. Let's see how to answer a call once an incoming call is received. I have already created the onClick handler event property to call the function. So I paste the answer call method in onClick attribute, it will execute when the button is clicked. While using the await inside the function, the function should contain a sync. Whenever you answer the call, you will receive your own track and the caller's track in the same user track listener callback method itself. To end the call, use the following method. I have already created the onClick handler event property to call the function, so I paste the end call method and it will execute when the button is clicked. Console the log for end call method. Now run the app in the browser. Let's see the demo for making a voice call. First initialize the SDK and register the user and log in with Mirafly server. I make a call for receiver side. You see the response log triggers the user track listener to play the own audio track once call is connected in sender and receiver side. Wow, successfully received the call for receiver. Once receiver answer the call, connection is established between the users. Once the sender try to make a call and the receiver is in online status, shows ringing. Once receiver answers the call, the status shows connected. All the time call status listener triggers once the user status changes. Now end the call, the response shows success, otherwise it executes failure. Let's see the demo for receiving incoming call. Once the receiver make a call to the sender side, incoming call back listener will trigger. Then the sender answer the call, call status triggers. Also triggers the user track listener to play the own audio track. Once the incoming call is initiated successfully, connection will be connected both the user. Great. Hope this video is helpful for you in your Mirafly Calls SDK integrations. Mirafly is the best platform to build in-app calls in your application. Check out our documentation page for more such tutorials that would ease your integration setup. We have a dedicated customer success team to assist you with your questions and help you pass through the blockers with ease. Thank you. And have a good day.